Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11's Copilot brings centralized AI and generative AI to the Windows 11 desktop. And as I posted even earlier today, uh, Microsoft is busy rolling out Copilot in Windows in preview. For Windows 10 version 22H2 to insiders in the release preview channel, which means they're also bringing Copilot to Windows 10. Now, I'll leave that video down below uh, if you would be interested. But um, just a quick follow-up to that, because according to Microsoft in a recent blog post dated the 20th, which was yesterday in my region, um, this is why Microsoft says you should try Copilot in Windows, be that Windows 10, the soon-to-be-released Copilot in Windows 10, or Copilot in Windows 11, because Copilot in Windows 11, as many of you will know, um, started rolling out now by default in Windows 11 version 23H2, which was this year's feature update, and started originally rolling out with the Moment 4 feature update. So according to Microsoft, this is why you should try Copilot in Windows. They say, and this is according to this blog post, people who work with information daily, Microsoft says, are excited about the capabilities of generative AI to help them discover and create new content. So they mention that these same people may already be using generative AI by accessing Microsoft Copilot, previously Bing Chat in the Edge web browser, and they carry on to say that if you are, as an example, an IT professional, professional, uh, you may want to help your organization be at the forefront of AR, but also hold the bar on protecting corporate data that employees may share with AR models. So a lot of the reasons why Microsoft says you should try Copilot is mainly aimed at organizations and enterprises. So they say by using Copilot, employees can, number one, Save time and effort by prompting for information and services in one place by typing prompts in natural language or using their voice. And number two, explore new possibilities and ideas by generating creative and innovative content that includes both text and images. So um, this applies, as mentioned, both to Windows 11 and the soon-to-be-released Copilot coming to Windows 10. So... Um, as I mentioned earlier today, if you are looking to try Copilot on Windows 10 version 22H2, um, currently you can do so through the release preview channel. And as mentioned, that video will be down below. And just a quick recap, um, Copilot in Windows 10 will be released in preview to select global markets, according to Microsoft and this announcement. And the initial markets for Copilot in Windows previews include, and this is for Windows 10, include North America and parts of Asia and South America and Microsoft say they do intend to add additional markets over time. So thought that was interesting and according to Microsoft and um, those are the two main reasons why you should try Copilot in Windows, be that Windows 10 or Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.